groovy. Special delivery from Premium DNA. Here we have the Earthworm Jim with Snot action figure. Now I jumped on the AliExpress train and grabbed one of these up. These appear to be factory defects that they're selling pretty cheap. So I grabbed him for like 20 bucks. So let's check it out and see uh, what the deal is. Awesome packaging. You can display them like that. Looks great. I still have to get the other guys. Psycho is number two on my list. Let's open the bottom here. Get them out. Slow slide. Yeah, very nice. Oh, look. These little hidden things in the bottom here. Ooh. Wee doggy. It's pretty cool. Comes with a nice space backdrop. Very cool. Need that psycho, definitely. Here's what y'all get. Let's open up this packaging here. It's taped on both sides. Let's get them into focus. Let's take Jim out. Oh yeah, he feels good. Nice solid lump of plastic. Yeah, I can see some paint defects here and there in the white. There's some up here on the skin, right here. Not too bad, but yeah, there's some more right here. I'm sure I'm going to find more as we go, especially the blue paint flaking that I've heard about. But overall, he looks fantastic. Here we get Snot. Oh yeah, he's got some defects on his tongue. And some of the green. Oh, good boy. Here is Backpack Snot. This looks pretty good. Here's his gun. That looks fine. Nice glossy red. Here's his crazy happy head. Here's his growling head. Here's his major snot. And he comes with four extra hands. Not too shabby. Uh, let's swap his heads. Just pops out with a ball joint. We'll plug in this one. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you can see some paint defects here. I guess, you know, if you're paying like 50 to 80 bucks for retail these, you don't want any problems. So I see why they did it. There's his happy head. Yeah, paint defects here as well. Somebody was uh, off their game that day at the factory. Not too bad, though. I'll have to touch it up later. Oh, we'll pop this one back on. This is my favorite one. Looking sweet. Let's check out his hands. Oh, there's some baby ball joints in there. We'll put on his one of his jazz hands. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, you can see the paint flaking off. That might have been one of the big issues. Oh, he's got a really cool uh, wrist joint right there. Real nice. Halt! Pretty awesome. Here's his other hand. This is for the uh, gun. Pops in real easy. None of that heating up crap to get the accessories in the hands. Very nice. And once again, these baby ball joints work really good. Check that out. Awesome posing. This figure's great. Gives a thumbs up in my book. Yeah, you can see all the little paint flakes and stuff down here, but eh, it's not too bad. And here are his fist hands attached. You can see that. Still got that cool swivel. And we'll put on his judo chop hands. Or I like to call them the slap your mama hands. Let's swap out his head for the goofy head. There we go. Jazz hands. And then last but not least, we'll show the trigger finger hands. You just say, hey, you, hey, you there, yeah, you. I guess you could call them his New York hands. He only comes with one gun, though. It would have been cool if they had to give a whip accessory so he could whip his own head. Mm -hmm. That would be game accurate, but for now, you can just do this. 
Let's check out his other accessories. Okay, we'll take this backpack cover off here. We'll stick on backpack snot. Oh, isn't that cute? And we'll take it out and put in the uh, major snot here. Which is strange because Snot is not in the first video game. He's in Earthworm Jim 2. He's in Jim's backpack and helps him to uh, swing from the ceilings and stuff. That's just bizarre. I don't think I'll ever display it this way. That's a lot of Snot. Good boy. But for now, I'm just going to keep his backpack uh, regular. There we go. Got these big wide feet, so he stands pretty good. Oh, good boy, Snot. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint. You can look up, down, left, and right, and swivel. The shoulders you can move up and down. You can rotate 360. Got a good range there. It's got a nice bicep swivel right here. He's got an elbow bend. Looks like it's double jointed, but limited. Yeah, right there you can see. It's nice. And he's got a swivel wrist, but he also has that cool pivot there from the hand, which is really cool. See, he's got a he's got a real tight joint here. He's got a waist swivel, which is fine. But he's got this ball joint in the upper torso that's really stiff. Ah, there we go. There we go. Look at that range. That is pretty awesome. Look at that. He's got a good old range of motion. Oh, look at that. His holster done busted off. That's unfortunate. I have to re-glue that. They should have had a little ball joint down there. He can almost do the splits. Legs kick forward and back. It's got thigh rotation. It's got a double jointed knee. It's kind of limited. Yeah. And he's got a nice ankle pivot and ankle tilt for his big old clown shoes. Pretty good. Excellent posability on this figure. Let me check that out. You can bust some caps straight up. Very nice. Yeah, they should have put a ball joint in here. That way when you want to move the legs, this holster will swivel out the way. Yeah, one of these little baby ball joints would have worked great in there. Maybe I'll add that later. Who knows? I'll probably just end up gluing it. But for now, we'll just plug it in and pray. But look at that. Jim stands around six inches tall. Now let's do some size comparisons. Here we have the Gypsy Avenger robot spirits figure from the uh, Pacific Rim Uprising movie. Here we have uh, Optimus Primal from Transformers Kingdom. Here we have one of the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtle figures. This was a great line. They should redo this on a bigger scale. Here's my custom Viacon Batman figure I made years ago. Batman. Here is the Gurren Lagan Revoltek. Full trailerized. Here is Beast Wars Transmetals Megatron. Yes. Here's the Mafex Evangelion 2.0. You cannot advance. Ava Unit 2. And here is uh, the Mandalorian, the Black Series. Oh, and my very first Golbot. Batfleck from McFarlane. Martha. And LGN's E.T. I like your neck. Ouch. What the heck, kid? Keep your hands to yourself. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Groovy. Okay, enough fun and games, Jim. Now, while I did have all the Playmates figures that were released back in the day, and they were cool, this figure just blows them away with the level of detail and the articulation. Oh, and you too, Snot. Now, I've been a big Earthworm Jim fan for many years, even before the game came out. 
I actually got to meet the shiny crew down at the CES show uh, down in Chicago. I met uh, Dave Perry and a couple of other guys. It was an awesome experience. And uh, we have to thank Doug Tanapple for his great designs because we wouldn't have any of these figures without him. Other figures available are Bob the Killer Goldfish, Psycro, and Professor Monkey for a Head. There's also an Earthworm Jim accessory pack of heads, which I think I'm going to get next. I remember back in the 90s, paging through Die Hard Game Fan Magazine and EGM, staring at the pictures, counting the days until this game was released for the Sega Genesis, and then picking it up and playing it for hours and hours with my friends. Those are some good times. Overall, do I recommend this figure? Hell yeah, I do. It's got great articulation. It's got a great likeness. Comes with cool accessories. And it's Earthworm Jim, what can I say? Hello. And yes, we need some Abe action figures from the Oddworld games. Are you listening to Premium DNA? Could you imagine those characters with this level of detail and articulation? Now that would be great. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.